Hello and welcome to Safety Tavern's video on signals, signs, and barricades. Let's get to the OSHA regulations right now. 1926 200 Alpha General signs and symbols required by the subpart shall be visible at all times when work is being performed and shall be removed or covered promptly when the hazards no longer exist. 200 Bravo 1 Danger signs shall be used only when an immediate hazard exists and shall follow the specifications illustrated and we'll get into the il illustrations in a minute. Immediate. Okay? Immediate. That means if I keep doing something I will get hurt. There's an immediate hazard. Got it? 200 Bravo 2. Danger signs shall have red as the predominant color for the upper panel, black outline on the borders, and a white lower panel for additional sign wording. Red is for immediate hazard. If I keep doing something, I will get hurt. Immediate hazard. Good. 200 Charlie 1. Caution signs shall be used only to warn against potential hazards or to caution against unsafe practices and shall follow the specifications and again we'll get into the answer ANSI figure in a moment caution okay so red is for I will get hurt caution is you might get hurt right does that make sense I've seen so many jobs where there's caution tape all over the place and this should be this should be danger tape that we're putting up not caution this isn't you might get hurt this is you will get hurt does that make sense red and yellow are not interchangeable colors according to OSHA Pay attention to this, people. Please pay attention to this. 200 Charlie 2 caution signs shall have yellow as a predominant color, black upper panel and borders, yellow lettering of caution on the black panel, and the lower yellow panel for additional sign wording. Black lettering shall be used for additional wording. 200 Delta exit signs. Exit signs, when required, shall be lettered in legible red letters, not less than six inches high on a white field, and the principal stroke of the letter shall be at least three-fourths inch in width. 200 Echo, safety instruction signs, safety instruction signs when used, shall be white with green upper panel with white letters to convey the principal message. Any additional wording on the sign shall be black letters on white background. 200 Foxtrot, directional signs. Directional signs other than automotive traffic signs specified in paragraph G of this section shall be white with a black panel and a white directional symbol. Any additional wording on the sign shall be black letters on the white background. Now, remember, 1926 does not cover the actual signs that are put on a road, on a, on a, on a public road. That is going to have to fall under Department of Transportation. Um, there are some parts where it, it's a little sticky, and we'll, co we'll cover that when we get into operating on the roads or a, another video. But this, this sign, this regulation is talking about signs that you have on the job site that are giving directions of drive here, this is the speed limit, that kind of thing. On the job site. Does that make sense? And some of y'all, you have really small job sites, and so this makes no sense at all. But some of these job sites are acres and hundreds of acres big. And you got to have signs up there. And this is where OSHA is telling you, do not take a piece of cardboard and just chicken scratch some crap in there in a black magic marker that nobody can read, especially at night. If you want to comply with OSHA, you need to actually get some good signage. Areas in which lasers are used shall be posted with standard laser warning play cards. Why are we talking about this right now? This is supposed to be signal signs and barricades. Well, because you got to have signs up. You, you, you absolutely have to have signs up. And the, for those of y'all out there that think that I'm talking about like Star Wars level of lasers or some high I'm talking about normal lasers. Not just this laser, but also this laser and this laser and this. You got to have signs up. And if you ask, where do you have to have signs up? I would ask where anybody can walk into the room and get hit by the laser. If you're pointing a laser in this direction over here, if you're pointing a laser over here, and the door's over there, you need to have a sign over there telling people when you walk into this room, there's a laser here. If there's three doors, you need to have three signs up there. Again, these will be yellow. Yellow is what OSHA is telling you to use. I would strongly use yellow, but the sun sometimes bleaches yellow down into a very, very light yellow. Um, sometimes paper doesn't print off correctly, but it's, it must be legible. It must be legible. Make sure you have your signs up. Accident prevention signs. 1926-200 hotel accident prevention signs. Hotel 1. Accident prevention tags shall be used as a temporary means of warning employees of an existing hazard, such as defective tools, equipment, etc. 
They shall not be used in place of or as a substitute for accident prevention signs. Okay. Tags versus signs. Tags versus signs. Very simple. Hotel 2. For accident prevention tags, employers shall follow specifications that are similar to those in figure 1, and we'll get into that figure in a minute. One of the, my biggest pet peeves, and it's not just mine, but a lot of people out there, it is called death by signage. Um, the other pet peeve is, is confusing signs. I cannot tell you how many times I've looked at a sign and been like, what are you trying to tell me here? What, is, what, what, what do you think this is for? What, what, this makes no sense. Or confused, like just, just outright confusing signs that, that there's no way anybody can comply with what you're telling them to do. There are a lot of signs out there that the person who put them together, like they probably had the best of intentions, but you needed a little bit of a QA process for your sign releasing. Um, signs should make sense. And if they don't make sense, get them down and get ones up that do make sense. Very clear, very concise. Now, the opposite side of the spectrum, like I said, that first pet peeve is death by signage. Man, you need to warn people of the immediate hazards first. That needs to be the absolute highest priority, and in my opinion, the biggest signs. Whatever you want people to pay attention to the most, that needs to be the biggest sign. It's, 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 it's basic marketing. Um, all the other smaller signs, those are ones that, that are precautionaries and that kind of stuff. But your immediate hazards need to be the biggest signs possible. Remember I said we'll get into the figures later on. It's just telling you that this is exactly what it should look like. So when you see these signs up on job sites, when you see these signs for sale by vendors on, on Amazon or whatever, um, OSHA is telling you how big they have to be. This has to be this big. This has to be this big. The letters have to be in this color. Make sure you're adhering to OSHA. Exit signs. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. But here we get into a very unique situation of, of especially for the electrical group or the general contractors of, well, we're installing what the customer wants installed or, or we're installing what is compliant with our local area's rules and regulations. So we install these exit signs, but they don't comply with OSHA because OSHA says it has to be this way. And the local codes and ordinances say the exit signs have to be this way. And so if there's a deviation in them, it, it's okay. It, it really is. Just make sure that you have a toolbox topic, some form of a training something to where you are alerting your personnel, hey, there are two different color signs on this job site, or there is a change of coloration of signs on this job site. But here's the thing. If you're using green as an exit sign color, that needs to be an exit sign color. All other green signs need to be changed. They need to be, they need to be changed to some other color, right? Because exit needs to be very clear. This is the color for exit. If you're using red lettering and red signage for exits, that's very, that's, that's okay because everybody associates red in OSHA with danger. Okay. So be careful. If you do a change, make sure you have that, those train that, that documented training where you're telling your people regularly, not just tell them once. And then 10 years later, the job site's still going on regularly update them regularly. I would say at probably once a quarter, Hey, just a reminder, all of the exit signs are green instead of red or all the exit signs are red instead of green. Make sure you're documenting it down that you did this training for your employees. Make sure your employees understand. If there's a language barrier, tell them in their language. That Google Translator is a great app. We can communicate. This is not the 80s where, well, I don't know what to tell them. Dude, just say the words into the Google Translator. We, we can do this. We can communicate. I have to talk to many, many I do not speak Spanish fluently. I, I, I know enough to get myself in trouble. We talk to people all the time. I have to talk to people all the time that only speak Spanish and I have to be able to communicate and Google translator is, a, is an amazing app. Um, if you have a better app, great. Use your app. Tags need to be something very temporary. So if you're using your bandsaw and it has some kind of a critical failure that, or the cord is damaged and you need to take it out of service, meaning nobody can use it. Um, go ahead and wrap it up. I tell my guys immediately grab danger tape because we have danger tape all over the job sites as well as in all of our vehicles. So I tell my guys, Grab immediately grab danger tape, wrap that cord up into the tool and wrap it up with danger tape. That'll get you through until you can get it back to the warehouse, get it back to whatever place, uh, the, the, the supervisor's trailer, whatever place your company has set down for where you want broken tools to be brought. If it's a personal tool, wrap it up in danger tape and get it gone. That's your personal tool. Um, we will definitely cover personal tools a lot more in hand and power tools, but understand temporary tagging 
you need to pay attention to what you're doing. I've seen a lot of times I'll tell my guys, yeah, yeah, take some danger tape and wrap up this ladder and then go and get caution tape. No, caution means you might get hurt. Danger means you will get hurt. It needs to be danger. It needs to be very clear. This is taken out of service. Now, I, again, I said before, I have my guys at least wrap danger tape around them because that way you got the word danger, good to go. But even that's technically not compliant. If you want to be compliant, you need one of these tags. Um, most of the time, tags that look like this will work as well, but this is over here, this is definitely not acceptable. Like if you're gonna take a tool out of service, you need to actually follow OSHA's signal signs and barricades regulations on tags. You are tagging something out of service, you need to use the right stuff. Don't just throw a white piece of paper on there. All right, so we're gonna play a game. You wanna play a game? Come on, let's play a game. We're gonna take a look at some signs and tags and see if you think they are acceptable and then I'll give you the answer afterwards. So let's look at the first one. This first one is, it's it, it seems to be okay. I mean, it's got the red letter, but it's not compliant with OSHA. Now, does it get the message across? Yeah, and would OSHA really come after you for this sign? Probably not, but again, if you want to do it the right way, then do it the right way. If you're going to take the time to print a sign off, print the right sign. Now, here's the next one. Now, this is a good sign, especially in the world that we live in today, where COVID's a huge thing. This is a very good sign to have on your job sites, but it's blue. Did you hear me say blue about any color when I was reading out the regulations? No. This sign does not need to be blue. This sign needs to be yellow or orange right because most of the time yellow or orange can be interchangeable on a job site but if you want to be compliant it needs to be yellow this sign should be yellow this is a precautionary sign it's saying face masks are required on this job site now here is one from turner construction company and i love you turner i've had a lot of great jobs with turner and they've been great and if we look at this sign this looks like a pretty good sign um, over here we have it's an it, it's an orange slash yellow where it's saying what PPE you got to have. You've got your black and white where it's giving generic directions. But when we look over here, man, we have a problem. What's the hazard? Um, you're telling me keep out. Okay, so nobody can be on the job site. So if I follow your signage, nobody should be on this job site. Why are there people working on that job site? Yeah, when you say things like construction keep out everybody has to stay out or are you saying general public stay out or this is where we get into confusion and this is a common sign i see this sign construction keep out or danger construction area what's the hazard because if it's so dangerous that you have to put a danger sign up there what's the hazard because if you can't guarantee for the most part the safety of our people we can't go in there we have to be able to reasonably predict the hazards and you can't just throw up a sign that says, hey, just be careful of everything. This is a vague sign and it's not acceptable. I love you, Turner, and trust me, I've thrown this exact sign. I've, I've, I've done this exact thing. I put this exact sign up. I put it up for us. I put it, I've done it, but it wasn't right. And we need to quit using this, this danger construction zone or warning construction zone. We need to quit using these danger signs um, like this. This is too vague. This next one. Do you think that this is a be careful while you're entering it, a caution? Or do you think this should be danger tape? Meaning this building could fall down at any moment, stay out. Isn't that a kind of a danger thing? Less than a caution? You see the police, they'll put up caution tape all over the place but I don't care. Now I love our law enforcement, but I don't care about the rules that they're playing by. What I care about is construction. And in construction, if it is be careful, that's caution. If it is don't, that's danger tape. Don't keep walking. Don't put your hands on this. Don't touch this. That's danger tape. That means you there's an immediate hazard. And this house could definitely fall down. This is danger tape that needs to be up here. Again, construction in progress, caution. Okay, I'll take this one. This is, hey, just be careful. Construction in progress. I like this one. I would rather have this one than the danger keep out sign. And, and this is where we get into what is the idea of it. Here we have a direct 
uh, going against what OSHA said, we have caution, but it's with a red background. So is that caution or is it danger? And it's confusing. If you are, OSHA is trying to train everybody's minds to where when you see yellow, that's be careful. When you see red, that is danger. Make sense? And and I love you, Honeywell, and I hope that you are uh, producing really well and your all your job sites are absolutely fantastic. You're making tons of money and nobody's getting hurt. But this sign is, is confusing whenever you look at the rest of OSHA and what OSHA wants us to do. So I agreed. We look over here and we've got all of their PPE. We look around the sign. It's got a lot of good stuff, but let's let's try to be a little bit more compliant. Again, we have blue, which that's not a recognized color. And if you're going to do this much effort, is this really supposed to be caution or danger? Now, I don't know. This door could be locked right here, but I have a feeling this is probably needs to be danger tape. But I don't know the exact situation of this, why this elevator has been shut down. Biological hazard? Shouldn't this sign be red? Just That's just me talking, but it depends on what situation is how it's being used, but if, if it's a biological hazard, I'm, I'm thinking danger. Again, danger, construction area. Okay, what's the hazard? It's everything? Everything is hazardous? Okay, we can't go in there. Unless we can abate the hazards, and then we gotta pull the... It, 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 your signs need to make sense. Caution, hard hat area? I like it. Um, they've got the yellow border background. I don't like the mixing in the blue. What's the point? Like wh why? But okay, it's got the, I'll, I'll take this one. I, I wouldn't have too much of an issue with this one. Delivery is going back. Now this isn't technically compliant because it said it needs to be similar, but I'll take it again. It's, it's, it's a black and white and it's telling people how to, uh, where to, where to operate, where to drive, where to go, speed limit, that kind of thing. It's black and white. Warning, laser in use, looks good, but it's orange. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I was on a job site and I saw an orange sign versus a yellow sign, I wouldn't have an issue with it. And most most of the OSHA people I've talked to, they don't have an issue with it. But it's technically not compliant because the word is yellow, not orange. Could they come after you for it? Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't think they would because you're trying. Put, keep your laser signs up until you're done. Remember, you got to pull them down promptly. I don't know where these blue tags came from. I don't know when you would use them, but I can tell you for OSHA 1926 compliance, do not put this on a tool, on a piece of machinery, on an anything if you're taking it out of service because of it is a safety issue. There's a warning. There is a hazard here with operating this tool, so we're taking it out of service. Do not put this tag on it. If you want to do... The only thing I can imagine this tag is for is... Uh, maybe it's running at max hours and we want to give it a break and switch over to this other machine. I don't know. I'm making up a situation in which this tag could be used. But in all honesty, if I on my job sites for my scope, if I saw this tag, I would immediately gather all of them up and take them to the trash can because I don't want my people ever using this tag. Make sure you pay attention to exactly what you're doing as far as installing signals, signs, barricades, any kind of a precautionary tag. I hope this message finds you well and I'll see you in the next one.